Bonjour, ciao, guten tag. It's Sherry here once again, and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Today we're going to cook chicken curry the Sherry way. Okay, I'll um, get back to you, and I'll just prepare all we need to do to all the things we need to cook this curry. Be back in a minute. Okay, I've got everything ready here. So, what do we need in cooking chicken curry? We have onions, garlic, bell pepper. There's a Filipino way. We normally use bell pepper. We have our chicken. Um, carrots and potatoes. I'm also using uh, patis or fish sauce. We normally use this in the Philippines ra rather than salt. It tastes a lot better, I'm telling you. Then we ha I have here as well black pepper, uh, ground coriander, curry powder, ground cumin, Garam masala, ground ginger, if you have it, paprika, and turmeric powder. If you don't have all these ingredients or all these spices uh, at home, just a simple curry powder will do, and as long as you have the ginger. Okay, so, um, in regard with measurement, I don't really do exact measurement. So, but for this one, I'll just um, use a teaspoon of each spices. For example, here I have the garam masala. So, a teaspoon of garam masala. Okay, we have a teaspoon of garam masala. And then we'll add uh, turmeric powder. This is basically for coloring as well. And it's good for you. And paprika. The paprika, I only use maybe half a teaspoon. Then ground cumin. Mmm, love the smell of ground cumin. This is good also for, I think, salsa. Ground ginger, not too much because I already have the fresh ginger. And then we have a teaspoon or so of curry powder. I'm not editing this video, I just so just bear with me. Now we have the coriander. The more spices, the better. And pepper as well. Then all you need to do is just mix them together. And one thing I, oh, I've almost forgotten, the important bit, is our coconut milk. So I'm gonna open this one. And I'm gonna use canned wood. I'm not um, being paid by canned wood, but this is so far is the best buy we ever made. It's a good tin opener. We have one as well in the Philippines, but uh, we decided to buy another. Okay, we're gonna open our coconut milk using this canned wood tin opener. It's very easy to use. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. Turn the switch on. And voila, it's open. So I'm gonna just... And I forgot to mention, we also need um, um, oil 
any oil will do as far as I'm concerned. But I'm, at the moment, I'm using vegetable oil. Okay, so we'll just need, I've already put um, oil in our pan. Not sure if you can see it. So I'm just gonna turn on our stove. Okay, we'll just have to wait until the stove is a bit hot. Not sure if you can see it. I'll be back with you in a minute and we'll start cooking. Okay, we're gonna start cooking now as our pan is already hot. Okay, so we'll start with our onions. Okay. Just fry our onions until it's cooked. Cooking is easy, it's not difficult. So for those people who are saying that they can't cook, I don't think that's the case. I guess it won't cook. Because no one taught me how to cook, I just learned really by watching people cook. And once you've done it once, you'll do it again and again, it, and it will just be a hobby. So, that's the case for me. Okay, our onion is nearly cooked. We need to add our ginger now. I've used um, 300 grams of ginger. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not so good with measurements, so it's just basically an estimate of everything. One thing I learned is add and subtract. If it's salty, add water. And if it tastes bland, add salt or fish sauce in my case. Okay, so we'll just wait until the ginger is nearly done. Okay. Let me increase the heat. Okay, now you will add this mixture of spices. This is Sherry's way. So, for those Filipinos who don't use the, the ingredients I use, well, everyone's different. But this one works for me, and my husband loves the taste of every curry I make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? What did you say again, love? Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That means yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm in a hurry at the moment because it's already six o'clock. I normally cook at five in the afternoon. Okay, so just bear with me and now I'm going to add our chicken. This chicken, um, maybe this is around Half a kilo. I told you I don't do measurements when cooking. 
So just mix everything and make sure that the chicken is well coated by our spices. And I'm telling you, this will taste nice once done cooked. This is my third video, so please bear with me if it's not perfect or anything. No one's perfect anyway, so just keep watching. Don't worry, it won't this won't last for an hour. Just make sure it's cooked. Just in properly coated and the chicken is cooked well yeah, properly. We don't want to get salmonella, so make sure that the chicken is well cooked. Well, since our potatoes here tend to cook long, I'm going to add the potatoes and carrots as well. I'm pressed for time, so cook them all at the same time. Now we're going to add here our fish sauce. Alright, again, no measurements. Just sprinkle it. That's enough for now. And when we taste it later, I'll tell you if there's need to add more fish sauce or water. It doesn't smell nice at the moment because of the fish sauce, but later on it will smell delish. We'll add the water. And then we, we have to wait. Wait for it to boil and wait for the chicken to cook. So, while I'm waiting for the everything to cook we will know anyway once it's um, piping hot and boiling and if the potatoes are tender or soft All right so I'll be back with you later I'm just gonna cook our rice oh for those people who does who don't know how to cook for those people who don't know how to cook rice, I'm gonna show you how to cook it properly without using any cups or any type of measurement. Just your finger. Just your middle finger. So I'll be back in a minute and let's carry on later. Okay, after 10 minutes or so, our curry is boiling now, but it's not cooked yet. Just make sure that there's no blood in our chicken and the potatoes are, and carrots are tender so let's say maybe we'll need another more 10 minutes then I'll get back to you but for those who want um, spicy curry you can add chili powder as well but it depends on your taste um, I may add chili powder later so that's it for now and then we'll carry on when our chicken is nearly done we're back now as you can see our chicken potatoes and carrots are cooked as let me just check yep it's tender now we're going to add our bell pepper i think it's just a quarter of the whole black pepper that i've just put in there Thank you. 
Okay. So this is after almost 30 minutes of cooking. So I just want to make sure that our chicken is well cooked. It's better safe than sorry. As I always say. Okay. So maybe we'll just give it a um, minute. And then we will add the most important part of our Filipino chicken curry. The coconut milk. Okay, I have here full tin of coconut milk. So I'll just use everything in it. And that. I forgot the lid is still inside. Uh -oh. Alright, so we're gonna cook this and make sure that the flour Our stool, this isn't just the heat, it's just on under simmer. Because this is coconut milk. Okay. Lovely color. And that's the turmeric powder. In the Philippines, they you, they may add, or normally we add MSG, but it doesn't matter if you don't have MSG. It's better. Okay, so we'll be back when it's cooked, and I'll let you know if it tastes uh, bland or not. See you soon. Okay, as you can see, everyone, our chicken curry is simmering away. I'm gonna taste it and. If it's not to my liking or if it's too salty, I'll add water. If it's bland, I'll add more of our patties or fish sauce. Let me just give it a taste. Don't forget to taste your food. Mm. Mm. Just a bit of fish sauce as you can see I didn't measure at all no measurement just use add and subtract that's the best way to cook well unless you're baking of course so, this will be cooked I think in let's say 10 more minutes just to be sure that the chicken is thoroughly cooked so I'll be back with you again so stay on stay there and I'll be with you in a few okay after almost an hour of cooking I can say that our curry is cooked let me just give it a final taste mmm lovely job no need to put any more salt or fish sauce that's definitely cooked so that's basically the chicken ch curry, the sherry way, or Filipino way. Well, my way, basically. And if you like this uh, video, you know what to do. Click like, share, subscribe, and press the bell button so you'll get notified whenever I upload new videos. So, all I can say now is, ciao, au revoir. Of either said, say nada, paalam, and cheerio! Oh dear, it won't stop. Cheerio! I'm back! Now our chicken curry is definitely cooked, but just one final last taste. I'm tasting it, you just cannot see me. Mmm, hmm, yum! No need for salt. Or fish sauce that's definitely cooked that's all for now folks so if you like this video please click like share subscribe and don't forget to press the bell button down there and if you want because if you want to get notified with my new videos you have to press that bell button <laughs> <laughs> oh. and before I forget this only my 
third video so please bear with me again I'm not editing this so if you like the video again please click like share subscribe and press the bell button so that's all for now folks and I'll see you in my next vlog so ciao au revoir auf Wiedersehen paada sayonara and cheerio